Karate and Muay Thai are two of the most well-known styles in all of martial arts. And they both share a common strike that is one of the most deadly in all of martial arts. The elbow. Bah! Which is going to be exactly what we talk about today. My Muay Thai instructor, Josh Brack, is going to teach us three different types of elbows. And I'll be teaching my karate variations, most of which are stemming from some form of kata or bunkai. And along the way, we'll note the similarities. But first, let's start off with the Muay Thai version of the horizontal elbow. This one, what I think about is I'm almost like throwing a hook, but I'm missing with my fist and the range is slightly different. So in this one, I'm gonna use my lead hand. I, my hook is here, but I'm gonna elongate my stance just a little bit and step in here with this elbow. Someone told me once, like if you had a knife, for some reason you wanted to stick it into your chest. I don't know why you would ever do that, but that's kind of the motion here. It's so this hands, so. Yes. <laughs> the hand's nice and high. I'm just gonna step in, bang, hit with the elbow here. Kind of aiming with the point of my elbow. I wanna cut him, I wanna hurt him with this elbow. You can knock out, you can cut. Elbows are great, they're very dangerous. So I'm just stepping in, keeping this hand high, and this comes across. I turn my shoulders, just kind of similar to my hook. I don't rotate too far this way. I just hear the turn and chop. It's like a, and eventually as you progress, it's more of like a chopping motion. I'm chopping with these elbows as opposed to just throwing them. Mm -hmm. This way with my body, I'm gonna use a little chop here, a little chop. Still a horizontal elbow. You'll see it a lot. It happens from the outside. It also happens on, in the clinch. It happens in many different ways. Most of the elbows that you'll see are prevalent in the katas and the bunkai that we have. Now there's three main elbows that you'll see in karate. This one, where you pull the hand towards the elbow and you meet with a, with a sort of a sideways elbow, a left to right elbow. In this case, a right to left. You'll see a lot, especially in the pinons, or actually pretty much most katas have this. Kusanku, pinons, basai. This movement here, bang, is usually thought of as a grab and a pull. I throw my hand towards my elbow. This one's kind of simple. Like I'm, I'm most likely grabbing him somehow and then throwing my elbow from whatever it is. This could also be thought to be, instead of a grab and a hair pull towards an elbow, another variation that I learned of it as, and that I kind of prefer, comes from like a one step. This horizontal elbow for us, as we're going here, we talked about how I could grab onto it, but also if he's throwing a punch and I'm fast enough, we talked about counters and how I can read this jab. Like if we're at a distance here and it's going straight out and straight back, hopefully what I can make happen is I can get in and I'm gonna throw this elbow to the ribs at the mm. same time. Now, you have to be faster than people. You can't only practice it like this. You have to be practicing in a way where we're like moving around. I don't know that he's gonna throw that jab. You have to have a bunch of different variables in order to make it work. But this is the concept here where I'm coming like this and I go boom and I meet him coming this way by also going this way at the same angle. I can try and brush it down the ribs. The more complexity you add to it, the, the more difficult it's gonna be to pull off. So the down elbow, this is probably my favorite elbow to throw. You get a lot of power out of this elbow. This one comes up and say he's blocking my horizontal elbow. Now I'm gonna change the angle of this elbow. Just think of like there's an imaginary ledge here and this is gonna slide down this ledge and chop through his guard. So if he was closer to my height too, I could come up and chop down this way through. It's almost like I'm pulling back the bow for a bow and arrow here. Comes back and it chops through. Now that's obviously an exaggerated movement, but as you progress, it'll just, you know, chop. Sorry, you're good. And you'll see the motion here, hands are up. Elbow, chop, right back. So I don't want to sell out and fall forward here. I want to be like a spring where I can chop on either side with this elbow and the angle is here. And I didn't really have a down one prepared, but what I wanted to talk about was this reverse elbow. So I've got this elbow that comes in like this. Now a lot of like, it seems like some movie stuff, like where this dude happened to be walking behind me and I felt it fifth sense. I was like, wah! Or I guess it would be sixth sense. But I, but I like to think of it as more of like, it comes from a rear bear hug where somebody's grabbed me and I drop my weight down and I managed to fire back some of these elbows myself. That's one of the things that karate is really good at is the self-defense aspect of trying to get those elbows in there. And something that's short range, we use short range attacks. And then thirdly, 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 thirdly will work. Yeah, well, there's there's Bruce and then there's Jet. And this, mm -hmm. is thirdly. this is the yeah, thirdly. This is the thirdly. Perfect. <laughs> this is a straight elbow. So say he's blocked. He's picked up on both. Of these. He's blocking this one. He's blocking the down elbow. But I have this little space here where I'm going to try to put this in the middle. So this is my axe blade. Where I really learned this better was I took some privates from Nathan Carnage Corbett. Just look him up. 
He's the elbow master. He smashes everybody with elbows. That's okay. just what he does. On this one, it's almost like I'm throwing my cross and I'm gonna lengthen this one out a little bit. So instead of the upward elbow here, it's more of a straight elbow down the middle. This is my ax blade and I'm going against Seth. I wanna stick this in his head and pull it back out. That's the way I think of it. It's kind of a, yeah, uh, very, it's a very, very gruesome. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little much. Just to get my point across. Get your point across. Yeah. Get, See? <laughs> if he had his hands up and he's blocking these other angles, I'm gonna try to send this one right down the middle. And it can happen on either side too. I can throw the straight elbow here. I like this one because I can bring it back and it's almost a block at the same time. So if he were to hook, I can use this to step in and hit him with the elbow here. Throwing punches, punch, 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 boom. I stick this one up the middle here. I always wanna keep this hand up. So it turns here and right back. Now, I'm not super great at katas or anything. The next one we're gonna talk about is gonna be this elbow, right? This upward elbow. Now, the first scenario that you see this in is like Geki Side 2, for example, or Geki Side Die, where I'm coming here and I go bang, up, grab, pull. All we're gonna focus on is the elbow, uh, and maybe the kick in front of it. The Bunkai says that when I throw this elbow, I'm going like this, bang, and I'm trying to kick towards his back leg and hopefully buckle his knee. Now with the buckling of the knee, you see the head comes up and then this elbow comes straight up. Now that's the concept behind it, right? But the main thing we wanna focus on is this elbow here. I'm keeping this juicy, meaty part of my hand here up in the air, palm down, and I'm combing the hair. Actually, you're probably gonna say that later, aren't you? Similar. Boom, bang is what we see here in Geki Side 2. And this one especially flows with the idea of yin and yang. Well, attacking yin and yang. Instead of diagonal to diagonal, or left to right, we're attacking the bottom to the top. I don't like that. But I thought it was missing something. That's so I switched it to my front leg to my back leg, instead of keeping it with the same size. And it ended up looking a lot like Muay Thai. And while yes, I had been taught a ton of elbows through our karate programming growing up, it wasn't something that we emphasized as much as Muay Thai does. <laughs> However, because I didn't want to be done yet, I learned a lot of cool newer stuff through a different style. So by keeping my doors open and accepting other information, I grew. And there you have it. Those are all of the most deadly, precise, incredibly powerful elbows in all of mankind. And I did mine too. Hey, like karate? Subscribe. Like Muay Thai? Come over here. That's about it. That works. Yep. Subscribe or we'll elbow you. Ah! <laughs>